Same time the federal investigation is underway, University of Dayton scientists work to prevent incidents like this in the future. Megan O'Rourke continues our live team coverage with more. Megan? Right now, scientists at the University of Dayton Research Institute are testing materials like the aluminum used in the fuselage of the Boeing 737 to see how well they withstand stress and fatigue. Now, the scientist I talked to today says as far as he knows, there are no, there's no material that is immune to cracking. But by studying the materials, they can predict how long the structure will hold up or how long it will take before the crack poses a serious problem. Experts tell me most trouble spots occur around rivets or screw holes. And on a plane the size of a Boeing 737, there could be hundreds of thousands to look at. But with proper inspection, potential problem areas should be caught. Every plane you fly on has cracks. And it's up to the design engineers uh, to know which cracks are going to grow uh, uh, fast and which cracks are probably going to not grow fast. And so uh, you don't take out... You don't replace a whole section because it has a small crack and if you know how it's going to grow. Now because Wright Patterson is the University of Dayton Research Institute's largest partner, planes are their focus, but experts say they have also tested materials used to make cars and other modes of transportation. Reporting live, Megan O'Rourke, 2 News on your side. Also